Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Excellent Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to dissolve PEI for transfection, as well as I also discuss about the mechanism of PEI in the transfection. Let's begin. So PEI actually is the this is a polymer and uh, it uh, repeating units composed of the amine group and two carbon aliphatic CH2 CH2 spacers. So this is the linear structure of the uh, this uh, long chain and the properties. It's uh, it is the solid at room temperature and it looks uh, white powder and it. Uh, soluble in hot water also in low pH as well as in methanol ethanol and chloroform but it does not soluble in uh, cold water or normal temperature water the melting temperature is 73 to 75 degrees centigrade so the protocols for dissolving PEI in water so there are two different processes uh, you can dissolve PEI so I'll discuss one by one first is the uh, the process one so i want to consider that the final concentration will be the 1 mg per ml and the final volume of this pi solution is it would be 50 ml let's begin so first in 100 ml beaker you have to take 40 ml double distilled water normal temperature water and then you have to add 50 mg pi so 50 mg PA in 50 ml dd water that means that final concentration will be 1 mg per ml and then add HCl at this pH less than 2 because um, in acidic pH the um, PA it dissolves normally so in that pH, acidic pH you have to stir it a little longer time around one to two hours to dissolve completely and also if you uh, after one hour stirring if you see that uh, you want to do it quickly so after one hour if you see there are some uh, powder left not dissolved so you can do one thing you can you can heat in the 60 to 70 degree centigrade water bath to dissolve completely and then you can adjust the volume and if you think that you want to do uh, like enter this process you want to follow like in the acidic environment you want to dissolve it so you can follow this entire process so after stirring one to two hours when you observe that it is completely transparent then you have to add NaOH to adjust pH 7 and then volume make up up to 50 ml so this is the this is entirely uh, dissolving by the acidic environment not the by the water bath so what is said here that if you would like to do like after one hour if you see anything undissolved then you can heat uh, at 60 to 70 degree centigrade and then you have to again you have to adjust pH by NaOH at P7 and then you can do whole makeup up to 50 ml and process 2 in the 150 ml tube you have to add 35 ml water dd water normal temperature and then add 50 mg PEI and then at 60 to 70 degree centigrade water path you have to you have to put it a little longer time just you have to check every time that uh, it's dissolved completely it will be transparent and then uh, volume makeup up to 50 ml so this is uh, another process so you can you can do whatever you want so next I'd like to um, talk about the mechanism of PI how it carry DNA to the nucleus so first we know that PI is the transfection reason that required for transfection and um, actually PI and DNA it forms actually a complex that is PEI condenses DNA into positively charged particles which bind to the anionic cell surface residues so we know that uh, cell surface is anionic because of the, the phospholipid 
so and then it uh, brought into the cell via endocytosis process so this complex it it get inside of the cell by the endocytosis process and that complex is known as the polyplex this dna pi complex is known as the polyplex and once in once it this complex get inside the cell then by the osmotic soiling result these vesicles it burst and as a result this complex is it release into the cytoplasm of the cell and uh, this uh, and by unpacking of the dna from this complex then it diffuse to the nucleus so this is how uh, this dna is transferred to the nucleus by the help of the pei so this is all about this uh, pei mediated transfection and how to resolve this pi so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please subscribe my channel and if you really think that this video is helpful kindly don't forget to subscribe my channel that encouraged me to make new interesting videos so please do that thanks for watching